Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today we are at R2 Automotive and we're going to be picking up Josh's Integra. It's had a bit of engine work done, new cams have been put in, so hopefully we're going to film inside and get uh, a little bit of an update from the guys at R2 of what exactly has been done to the car. And then we're going to head off just down the road for a 15 minute drive to get the car mapped, which is really exciting. So yeah, let's take a look. Yeah, we just fitted some uh, drag cartel 3.2s and um, basically Josh has come to us and uh, we've, you know, degreed the cams and then uh, done a piston to valve clearance on that and uh, yeah, just to see what kind of VTC we're going to hit before anything bad happens on a dyno. So obviously if you don't have your, you know, if you don't check the VTC and uh, your piston to valve clearance, so when you're hitting VTEC, when you're going onto the dyno and the tuner just whacks it on 50 degrees, you've got a potential of pistons hitting the valves unless your engine grenaded on the dyno mm -hmm. so um, that's why you do these measurements and what we've done we've pinned the VTC gear uh, at 30 degrees VTC and um, that's the current maximum that we can get out of this at the moment and um, but if you was to go for like you know say for 40 degrees VTC you would have to start changing pistons piston yeah to have bigger valve pocket depths so um, yeah, so that's uh, one of the things that you have yeah. to do on these. Yeah. So you can't just change a camshaft and expect yeah. it to, no. you know, work. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing. Nice one, that's cool. Yeah. Mm. All went all right, did it? Yeah, everything all went good. Good. And uh, a bit nerve wracking because the engine bay is so clean. <laughs> as you can see. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool, nice one. But yeah, nice. And, uh, yeah. be interesting to see what it gets on the dyno. Yeah, what are you guess? What are you, what are you guessing? Oh, I I'm put a post up the other day saying, What's, your, what's everyone's guesses? Everyone's like, mm. what do you think? I'm not too sure. What was it pushing before? 275 with bad fuel and stock, Is it? stock head and cams, yeah. 275, was that at the... At the fly. At the fly? Yeah. That would probably be... Well, it'd be good to get what, 28, 285 if you yeah. could. Yeah. Nice. Be interesting. Mm. So, we'll see. Nice. Yeah, see what Jesse can do. Yeah, work his magic. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, nice. nice. So it does. So that pushes it down, down under the gearbox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. yeah, not a bad shout. <coughs> Because then I guess you've made like a, a low pressure area then that's more likely to... Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's always, always going to come up now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, um, nice. Fair play. Right, let's get you jacked up. Yeah, wheel nut. So um, I found your previous vest on there. So your previous vest is on the grate. <laughs> so we've all seen that meme then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can uh, edit that into your video now, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> not even that now, <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, Jesse slags off and BMW owners. You know? <laughs> <laughs> After being one too. Yeah. <laughs> Surprise of what? What's 270 will? Multiplied by 1.12, don't you? So yeah. it's like 300. Ish. 300. Ish. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. What do you reckon, Al? Here's a man looking at something he knows nothing about. <laughs> mm. Yeah. To be honest, I don't, really don't understand most of this either. Lots of lines. Mind you, I'll move out of the way. You can. Silly. <laughs> if anyone's going to have deserved it, it would have been
<laughs> I'm not precious about that car at all, if you've um, noticed. Did you pop the bonnet? No, no. I was about to, and then I noticed a dirt speck on it. <laughs> I don't want to be involved. I don't want to be involved. Not responsible. That, nah. <laughs> you seen how clean this thing is? Jesus Christ. Makes power and looks nice. Yeah, yeah you've done a really good job, haven't you? Thanks, mate. Cheers. Is that hot? No. Hot. Yeah, carbon. I thought that might help a little bit. Yeah, so 30 wheel horsepower gain from just a cam swap, really, and a fuel change, I suppose. Yeah. The fuel's not worth that much, but a bit. Um, yeah, it's good going. Nice. Okay. Even, even down here, like where we were super not limited before. Yeah, now we're not like much yeah, better. The so download is going to be a more yeah usual. much better before. Okay. What, what are we in pound foot there? Like I don't know, ten twenty pound foot. I'd have to have a look properly, but yeah, you'll get a snapshot anyway, and I can do the both overlaid. Yeah, sure. So you'll be able to see it by RPM, like a breakdown of every five hundred RPM. Yeah, and it'll tell you what the torque was at say thirty five, and then what it is now, and you know I mean, cool. So you can nerd out if you like. Cool. <laughs> so um, we. Sweet. Uh, we we revved it to 8,500 on one run, didn't we? Yeah. Just to see it not tail off. <laughs> yeah, it would keep going, but we're okay. limiting the RPM to 8.3. Yeah. It seemed to, when you did that, like straight away, I didn't realise, I thought maybe that was like your final run or tweak or whatever, like yeah. suddenly you were making like mad power, but yeah. Yeah. Well, go. yeah. yeah. Just see what it would do if it went more, but. Yeah. Um, like the rods can do it, cast piston, you could do it. But you're not shooting for the moon, you know. You're not no, trying to. No. no point doing that. No, for the game you're not trying to squeeze every inch out of the thing. Yeah, exactly. No. So what's, the, what's the point, like? It's going to be on track, so you, you want to be able to do it. Yeah. Rarely ever going to. You want to be able to drive round and round and round and round and round, don't you? Yeah. Yep. Without having to worry about something happening. Mm -hmm. So that's all good. Um, yeah, your VTC gear, the pin does seem to be slipping down a little bit. Yeah. Where it's literally just a pin floating inside one of the chambers in there, mm -hmm. because the chamber's like a circle. The top of the circle is a bigger distance than the bottom of the circle. Mm -hmm. So when the pin slips to the bottom of the circle, or the chamber, it limits more. Yeah. But as we see, it didn't have that no. drastic effect, yeah. considering it was li limiting us to 26 degrees. So yeah. it gets right though. Yeah. Yes. Uh, still not limited at the top end, so we've pulled that out. It's just because because of the stroke. You've got RRC piston in there, so what's that? Is that 11 and a half? 11, 8 to 1? 11, 8 to 1 on a K20 there. Is they? Okay. Yeah. So when you multiply that by the stroke of a K24, it goes through the roof. So it's not 12 and a half, it's more like 13 and a half. Right, okay. So that's why we're not limited that right, way up, okay. yeah. So it's fine, you just can't use the ignition timing and the fuel you use becomes more important. Okay. Yeah, cool. like, like the quality of it and yeah. the consistency so of it. So that's why I like making the change to the, the Tesco stuff. Yeah, more so just stay on it. We give you a little bit of headroom again because we're not trying to take over the world. Yeah. Um, yeah. So she should be pretty good, mate. Sweet. VTX at 52.50. Oh yeah, we did, you, you tried, just played around with that a bit, didn't you? So. Yeah, so I always try it lowest first, and it's blatantly obvious when the engine doesn't like it, because it just fucking yeah. bogs. You'd have seen in the graph, it would yeah. take a drop Ooh. and then go, yeah. okay. it bogs yeah. down a bit. Right. So obviously the bigger the cam you use, the, the higher the VTEC crosser is likely to be. Yeah. Mm. So on my car, it's 58. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But you're Things gonna be like you're gonna be sitting above that usually on track exactly anyway. That, so yeah. Cool. yeah, I rarely drop below that at brands, only yeah. round druids, which is the slowest corner. Yeah, of course, yeah. And, and then I you could, have the I could stay out. above it if I was in third, but yeah. I use fourth, so Okay. Okay. Cool. So yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty good though. Talks pretty much flat for like three thousand RPM. Yeah. One to two thousand RPM. Which is good. Nice and usable. Yeah, it's all up here, it's massively yeah. different in it. That's yeah. where it's gonna be pulling more. Yeah. Yeah, essentially you got exactly what you wanted. Nice. With the added benefit of more in the bottom as well. Cool. Sweet. Nice one. No worries, mate. Happy Watson. <laughs> yeah, it's more like that. You can run that reliably rather yeah, than... Yeah, like, like it would do it day in, day out. String its neck, absolutely everything you have yeah, to gain, it. what, if two horsepower. Yeah, it's not worth it. No. 185 times 1.12. 207 foot-pound. Right. Uh, two... 72 times 1.12 304 brake horsepower Don't say yourself short 0.64 304 <laughs> 0.64 <laughs> Nice, well, nice. Yeah. As you can see uh, When it was mapped before there was quite a lot of knock and knock uh, so it couldn't get any power early mm. The grey is before blue is after and that like what's that? Five thousand, five and a half thousand RPM drops a bit here. 
Uh, I think Jesse said that was to do with the ignition timing. Mm. But then at five and a half, it obviously makes up for that and more. So a tiny loss of power there, but then up top, anything from like five, five, it just, when VTEC engages, VTEC's really aggressive now. It is, yeah, audibly as well. Like yeah, with those, yeah. Ca- well, when it came on first time, I was like, blood like more aggressive than i thought mm. so when vtech comes on obviously on track you're going to spend most of the time in vtech so i'll constantly be sort of up there here above. More. yeah roughly apart from tight corners that's nested in maybe the in section and stuff but yeah pretty good happy and it's also limited to 8300 we revved it to 85 and it made like four horsepower more if you revved it higher it would keep going apparently but you're running the risk of damaging the engine so we've limited rev limit to 83 and at 8.3 it's still made 304 horsepower so quite happy with that that's good nice yeah So as you can see, the car made a very strong and very healthy 304.64 horsepower on the dyno. After filming this, we headed back to the lockup where Josh keeps his car, gave it a wipe down and stuck some new R2 Automotive stickers on it. Massive thank you to Rich at R2 Automotive and Jesse at JCal Tuning for letting us film this video. And of course, stay tuned, make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video because next week we'll be uploading the first drive. <laughs>